So this is the enthalpy change of atomization of oxygen. Then we give some more energy, give some more energy to ionize the nitrogen. So Mg plus gas plus O gas. Then this is the first ionization energy of magnesium. First IE of Mg. Then we go up and we have to ionize it again. We have to ionize the Mg plus to make Mg2 plus because uh, we know that Mg2 plus has to bond. Uh, we have the Mg2 plus ion in MgO plus O gas gives plus two electrons because I've released one more mole of electrons now. So this is the second ionization energy of magnesium. Now I have to now I go down because electron affinity this time because the oxygen is gaining so first we have mg2 plus gas plus o negative gas plus e electrons electrons so this time we have uh, negative oxygen ox we have uh, one negative oxygen ions so o negative ions plus electrons it has taken one mole of electrons so this is the first electron affinity first ea of oxygen now this and we know that first ea is mostly exothermic now we go up again we go up again because this time it's second electron affinity so mg 2 plus gas plus o2 negative gas so this is the second electron affinity and as I said second electron affinity is usually endothermic so now we have to give energy again. First energy was released and now energy has been taken in again because uh, to make O negative and E negative to make to add these electrons to the O negative ion I need to give energy since they will repel because they have like charges. So now I have ions gaseous ions and since I have gaseous ions I can do my lattice energy. So this will come straight down to give me MgO solid. So this will be my lattice energy of MgO. Le of MgO. Lattice energy of MgO. And then I will go down from here. Let me just extend this line. I will go down from here. This way and so I can either go directly from the elements to MgO solid or I can take the long route uh, uh, to go to MgO solid. So this, this is the enthalpy change of formation of MgO. So we have done, so this is the Bornhaber cycle. So the important thing, the difference that we did over here was that uh, the first electron affinity, first we went down because energy is released, so a negative it will be a negative change so it will go down and then we go back up because energy is taken in again and uh, this is the enthalpy so again we will use the formula delta hf h not f is equal to let me just erase this so people misunderstand delta h not f is equal to equal to delta H plus lattice energy. So uh, delta H plus lattice energy and then we have delta uh, Le not delta L, we have Le to make lattice energy the subject is equal to delta H not F Now and then we can use all these, we can add all these up to form delta H 
and you'll get the value of lattice energy. And if you're ever getting the value of lattice energy as positive, then